What's going on, Jets fans? The quarterback domino is waiting for that first one to tip. And they haven't tipped, but they've started to take shape on the table, right? We talked about yesterday, Tom Brady, he's retired. So the supply of quarterbacks has decreased. The demand has increased. Also, Jimmy Garoppolo, the head coach himself, Shanahan, said it's unlikely he's back starting a quarterback for the 49ers. So the 49ers now need a quarterback. Um, Derek Carr. Could he be an option there? Maybe. Uh, I don't think the Packers trade Rodgers within the division. Um, it's probably Trey Lance. Brock Purdy is going to be out almost, most likely most of the whole next season. He's got that pitcher injury. He's going to need Tommy John. I think Purdy is out. It, they probably can't factor him into their 2023 plans. So it's probably Trey Lance. You don't give up three first-round picks for a guy to go ahead and give a guy like Derek Carr a three-, four-year contract. So I don't think the 49ers – um, Jimmy Garoppolo leaving really affects the market too much. It's actually maybe beneficial for the Jets because now there's one more name out there of a guy who could be available with Jimmy G. So with Jimmy G, I like that Jimmy G is available number one because it's just another guy who's out there that other teams might get instead of my top two preferences in Rodgers and Carr. I I like Jimmy G. I don't want him to be the quarterback of the Jets. It's nothing against his skill set. When he's on the field, he's a good player, but that is just it's not often enough. He's not on the field often enough. He misses nearly half his games since he's been a starter. Uh, so you bring in Jimmy G, and you're going to see Zach Wilson. And if Zach Wilson looks like 2022 Zach Wilson, then it's going to be a fan base. is going to be, all, I, I just want to deal with all that. And then the quarterback carousel, Jimmy G's back. Okay, if Zach Wilson struggles, do you go to your third stringer? Is that Mike White? I just, it's just a whole ugly situation that I think, Injuries happen. It can happen to anyone, but hurt guys stay hurt, man. Hurt guys stay hurt. Uh, whatever cliche you want to use, your best ability is your availability. That's the way I see it with Jimmy G. I don't want to do the quarterback of the Jets. Now, I think the benefit, if I were to give you the positive, the main positive, I think, with Jimmy G is salary, probably not as much as a car. Um, no draft capital, complete free agent. And maybe you can get him for a one-year deal. Maybe if you're if you miss out on Aaron Rodgers and you're like, you know, I really don't want to hitch myself to Carr for three, you know, four years, whatever. I'll just take a one-year flyer on Jimmy G and then reassess after that. That's risky too. That's risky. So it's, uh, but you're giving yourself more flexibility. So that could be said for Jimmy G. There are a lot of positives, um, and there still is a world even without Lafleur that we end up with Jimmy G because we have Hackett who runs a very similar system. And I'm sure Jimmy G could execute it just fine when he's on the field, but it's just not often enough for me. So I hope it's Carr. I hope it's Rogers. And then if we swing out there, honestly, I mean, okay, Jimmy G is better than Jacoby Brissett, right? Hot take. I understand that. But would you rather have, you know, nine, 10 games of Jimmy G or 17 games of Jacoby Brissett? And Jacoby Brissett is cheaper. I don't know. You have to ask yourself that. Really do. Once we start the conversation with, well, when he's healthy or if he stays healthy, eh, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, especially when it's your most important position. Uh, can't do it. You know what also you can't do? Say an idiotic thing. <laughs> it's something more idiotic than Ryan Clark said about the Jets, Nate Hack and Aaron Rodgers. Let's break that down below. Thanks for hanging out. We'll talk ball soon. Go Jets.